Are you planning on traveling with your sewing machine on an airplane? Then stick around because I'm gonna take you on my latest journey to Colorado with my little buddy here. Hi, I'm Kathy from the Delfield Quilt Company. If you're new here, welcome. Normally on this channel, I will show projects that I'm currently working on and how I made them. This video is a little bit different though because I'm actually taking a trip and I'm bringing my sewing machine along. So I thought I would just share how I'm preparing for this trip and hopefully if the trip is successful, you might be able to pick up a few tips and tricks for traveling with your sewing machine. All right, so I almost decided not to try to attempt this because I've actually never flown an airplane with a sewing machine. And so I was telling my husband the other night, like, I'm not sure if I want to bring my sewing machine. Maybe I'll just do some hand sewing. He goes, why? We get two checked bags with our airline tickets, so why wouldn't you just bring it? And I looked at him and I said, I could never put Betty in check luggage. And his response was, who's Betty? So this is Betty. So I'm going to attempt to bring her as a carry-on. So this trip that my husband and I are taking, it's actually a pretty short flight. We're going to fly out of Madison, Wisconsin and fly into Denver, Colorado. So it's a really nice, quick, no connecting flight, it's just a straight direct flight, which is really nice. Let me show you some of the things that I'm going to be taking with me on this flight. So I've got Betty, obviously. So I've got a few other things I'm going to bring with. I just got a few little binding clips, tools in here. I've got screwdriver in case uh, thread gets stuck in Betty, which does happen now and then. I've got my little hand sewing kit, and I've got this really cool pin cup. I'll put a link to this in the show notes because this is just so cool. I've also got a little holder. I've got my rotary cutter, some extra blades, some extra needles as well. I like this little case because it just keeps it all nice and together. Taking my favorite scissors. And I got this new iron. I'm not sure um, how well it's going to work, so I'm going to test it out. It's going to be its maiden voyage. One thing that I thought was a little interesting is the handle is backwards. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure um, if I'm going to like that or not, but it's worth a shot. But I do like that the handle folds down then. And it comes in this nice little carrying case. And then I've got a foldable ruler to do some long cuts. And probably my most versatile used ruler, my 10 and a half inch square. Then I've got a couple cutting boards. And one is one that I've, I typically use in my camper. It's this foldable one. I thought about only bringing one, but I, wanna, I might need to do some longer cuts. And the one that I was only going to bring was going to be this OmniGrid one that has a really nice ironing board on one side and then the cutting board on the other. And then it folds up nice and neat. And I do have a few bags here that I'm just going to use to put my stuff in. My little sewing kit. This is more for hand sewing, but I've got so many things in there that if I bring this along, chances are I'm not going to miss anything. And I am going to stick these bags here that I have like my scissors and my rotary cutter into my luggage just because I don't think I can bring a scissors on the airplane and needles um, that could possibly be used as a weapon, so I figure I just better be safe and put these in checked luggage. Not putting Betty, though, in checked luggage. And then I am bringing a little bit of batting. I don't plan on making big size quilts, but I thought just in case I'll bring a little bit if I want to make a bag or something. And of course I've got a bin of all the fabric that I'm using on this trip or planning on using it definitely brought more than I need but I always worry that if I don't bring something then I'll regret it and eh, I suppose if I'm missing something I could always have an excuse to go to a quilt shop and then to pack Betty I got this really nice carrying case for her it's from one of my favorite shops for featherweights and that's actually probably the only one that I know of the featherweight shop and what's nice is it's meant to be a carry-on so it's got all the padding to keep Betty safe. And it did come with this extra little pouch that I'm going to use to put the foot pedal in. And I did take the needle out, but that is not in there. And I'm going to take the bobbin case out and the bobbin out too because I'm a little worried that if when I'm going through security they take, they take her out of the bag and it falls out then I might not even notice it and I may never get it back. And I think I'm going to put the foot pedal in the check luggage as well, just because they're kind of heavy. And this I can replace. Betty would be hard to replace, so I, I don't feel so much heartburn 
putting this in check luggage. Okay, so that is all that I've packed. As I mentioned before, I have never taken a sewing machine on an airplane, so I'm hoping that this works. It, it, the TSA website does say that I can bring one, so I'm, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to have to check her last minute. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. And if something does happen and I don't make it there successfully, I'm probably never going to show this video. So chances are, if you're watching this, I think I made it there okay. All right, I'll see you in Colorado. Betty made it through security without any issues whatsoever. quiet spot that you had a good view at to let you know that we made it Betty made it just fine there was a few little stressful moments for instance when I put her in the overhead bin every I put her in first and then everyone that came on after was shoving their bags on her and I, I was a little worried but she was absolutely fine she is tough born in 1938 has probably traveled the world and she made it just fine one thing that was a little problematic as well was I checked her power cord into the luggage and our luggage actually went missing. We did get it in the end, so it wasn't a problem, but I think next time I'm gonna take the power cord and put it with Betty, because if I do lose my check luggage, I can always buy fabric anywhere. But Betty is no good without that power cord. It's so pretty here. I'll give you a look around. wondering yes I did get my hair cut while I was there it's a little bit shorter so a few key takeaways I had from this trip first pick a sewing machine that is lightweight compact and sturdy that's why I just love these singer featherweights because they're pretty much built to last and I had absolutely no issues taking her through security and fitting her in the overhead compartment and then under my seat on the way back and she's absolutely fine Second takeaway I had is watch the weight on the luggage that you're checking. We barely made it on the scales. I think next time I will pack less fabric. I brought way more than I ended up using. And so I think I'll just pare that down a little bit for the next trip. The third takeaway I have is to pack all of your sharp objects like your sewing needles, your scissors, rotary cutter in your check luggage. I don't think those items would make it very well through security. And the fourth takeaway I have, which I learned on the trip, is pack the power cord with your machine in case you become separated from your checked-in luggage, like I did. And the fifth takeaway I have is just make sure you have a really good bag to put your sewing machine in. This one I got from the Featherweight Shop worked fantastic, and I felt like she was very protective. And she was really easy to carry with these nice long handles. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have traveled with your sewing machine on an airplane, if you have any additional tips you'd like to share, please write them in the comments below. I would absolutely love to read them, and I'm sure others would as well. So thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different than the ones I normally do, but hopefully it was helpful to those of you who are wondering about how to travel on an airplane with your sewing machine. And I did put together some neat projects while I was in Colorado, and I can't wait to show you what those look like on my future videos. 
I hope you have a great day.